Fishman, how's it going? Uh, long time no see, as usual. Um, I am always working and not filming. That's that's my life at the moment. Anyway, I want to present you. I got a, a lovely collection of lures, um, basically, and I want to show it off. I, I got got it in the post today. I got two more waiting on my. I keep them a secret. Yes, these are probably all going to be reviews as well. So I'm going to milk these. So don't judge me. Anyway, I'll, actually, I'm going to leave this one to last because it's my favourite one. So, co before I show you the lures, comment in, to, comment in the section what you think I've got laying in front of me right here. A little sneak peek. Look. Oh, oh, that's a big one there. Um, yeah, comment down in the comments if you think you know what I've actually got here. Also, um, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you uh, haven't already. Anyway, I need to get back into shot. I need to look, stop looking there. Right. Anyway, do you like the new setup? It's quite cool. I've got like halos in my eyes. Look, look at that. It's awesome. Anyway, I digress. Um, so yeah, I got a nice little uh, lower haul today. Let's talk about the first one I got. Um, in the post is is the Savage Gear inline trout. I got this one. It is the Rainbow Trout version. It is 15 centimeters or six inches. It is also 30, uh, 35 grams and it's one a quarter ounce. It's also slow sinking. I got this one because there was loads and loads of hype. There you are guys, you can see that there. There's loads of hype on the forums about these guys. Uh, not so much on the Rainbow Trout one though, it's more for the Albino. I, this one sort of spoke to me a bit more than the Albino. So yeah, it's a single trace. Um, it's almost like a Stinger style, comes out through the end there. Um, I will go details on each layer in separate videos because I like to milk things. Um, second of all, I got here as well, the Savage Gear 4D Pike Shad. It's the first time I've seen these, I've not actually seen these at all. It's these guys, I don't know if you see that. Uh, this one's a little bit bigger, this one is 20 centimeter, 8 inches, 65 gram, or 2 and a third ounces, that's such a weird number. Um, this one is, I believe, the standard pike coloration. I might be wrong, this might be the yellow pike. Hi Leon, how you doing? You come to join the video? Welcome. Welcome into the uh, the podcast, as they say. Yeah, so this is another one. It's a, it's not a line through, but it has the stinger trace. It also has a thing where it pulls out and the lure comes away from the pike's mouth. So it's quite a good little feature on that one as well. Um, apparently, this is it says the best new soft lure by... I don't know what that is, it just says winner of something rather there. So hopefully that'll be a good little sport, bit of sport there for me. Another one I got from Savage Gear, I really do like my Savage Gear and Fox Rage stuff. Uh, two of the main leading providers in the UK I believe for lures. Also you've got Berkeley, you've got um, Rapala, you've got Abu Garcia. So there's loads of different other brands. I'm not sponsored by the way, uh, as much as I'd love to be. Or, and I'm not even an advisor, so don't take my word for anything. It's alright, you can you can touch. Um, it's the Savage Gear Hybrid Pike. I This one really, really spoke to me. Um, hello, man. Oh, has got a drill. Sorry about that. My son managed to get hold of a power drill. Um, right, so where was it? We were talking about the Savage Gear Hybrid Pike. This one really, really stood out to me because I like the two different tails. Um, I like how it's got the breakaway stinger as well. It's got the ends of it. I just love the detail on it as well. They've, they've really done well with these, um, these sort of hybrid star baits. This one is 17 centimeters. It's 45 gram as well. So there's a bit of a theme going on what I'm trying to do. Basically, I'm after a large pike, basically. Um, I know some of the areas I fish there is some large pike. And I really, really want to go for them. So I thought bigger may be better. Not always the case. Um, size don't matter. Um, you've heard it at first. But yeah, I, I want to try some different type of lures. I always use really cheap lures normally. I've slowly been going on to Fox Rage. I've slowly going on to uh, Savage Gear. And I bring you to the next one, which I'm slowly going on to, which is very, very expensive. This is almost what I call the Ferrari of the lure world. Um, but it's not. There's more expensive ones than this. I give you the Rapala X Rap Otis. These things are everywhere on the forums at the moment. There you go, thumbnail, look at that. I picked the Rainbow Trout coloration because it just looks sexy, doesn't it? it? Look at that. That is probably the most stunning lure 
I've ever seen in my life. I don't think I've seen one prettier. Um, I'm really, really excited to use this, but also very, very scared to use it because it was quite expensive. Um, all these are really expensive for me, actually. Um, average between 10 and 20 pound a layer. So they are really expensive for me, for layers. I normally spend about a quid, maximum four quid on a layer. So these are really, really up there for me. And there is actually even more expensive ones, especially with Rapala. Rapala seems to be extremely expensive, but they're a tried and tested brand and they're really big in the States, I believe. They're actually made in two places as well. One place does the bodies, one place does the painting, which is really, really interesting. Um, this guy is a beast of alert. I don't even think this is the biggest one either. Um, the specs on this one are, this is the, let's see, the Rapala X-Rap Otis. It's a 25 um, centimeter alert. It's the rainbow trout coloration as well. It's the soft tail version. You can get a soft tail and a paddle tail version um, interchanging tails. I think, yeah, I think that's about it really I can say about it. But just in that a stunning lure. So if you haven't already liked the video, you're just not a fisherman, so get down there and like the video. Um, I'm going to actually try and film with these with lures. The, the Otis, I don't really want to use it because I don't want to lose it because it is so beautiful. I, I'm starting to think about collecting these things. It's so dangerous. Um, but yeah, I'm going to start using these. I've got two more coming, uh, which is the Savage Gear Burbot, which I've not seen many people use on the rivers I use, um, and the Savage Gear Eel, mainly for size. I'm trying to go for size and that flowing tail. So we'll see how they go. Like I said, like down, like down, just like the video, and I will get out filming these and seeing you know, how they work in the water and stuff like that. So. If you did enjoy this little opening, it's a little short video. It's just get a video out there, really, and to show you some nice layers off. And don't forget to send me some messages with your layers as well, because then show me your favourite layer. Message in, your, in the description, uh, in the comments, what your favourite layer is, and then I can research it and see if I look like it and would want to buy it. But anyway, um, I've got to go and make dinner, so I will see you on the bank sometime. Catch you in a bit.